Our word of the day. Our word of the day comes from the book of First John, chapter four, verse four. <clears throat> first John, chapter four, verse four, and it says, "You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because He who is in you is greater than He who is in the world." Praise the Lord for that. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them. As he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. We can know that all oh, the, the devil is just running rapid in our world. We can see the evil is of people. And we know that it's not them. It's the spirit of the devil that's upon them because the word tells us we do not battle with flesh and bone, but against principalities and spirits of darkness. But we can see how it has truly overtaken every, the world itself, the people of this world. But we know that we are the children of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he who is in us is greater than anything in this world. The Lord will truly get us to everything that's going on. He will continue to bless us and guide us and give us his peace. We just continue to need to just continue to cling onto him and put our trust in him. Let's read a few more verses from 1 John chapter 4, verses 4 to 6. And it says, you are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world. Therefore, they speak as of the world. And the world hears them. We are of God. And he knows, he who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this, we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Praise the Lord. The world is just being so deceived right now. We can see it everywhere. They know not what they do. It's the deception that's bringing our world down, bringing our country down because they do not know God. This is why we are all here. We are all here to share the word of God to people. Even if they don't want to hear it sometimes, I mean, and we may get persecuted or get talked about or whatever for doing it. When God opens a door and opportunity, we have to share his word because otherwise they will not hear. The world truly does not under, know the truth. They are under the spirit of the devil. But we know the spirit of truth. We know that the Lord is our savior. The Lord is with us. We hear his word. We follow him. John 12, 31, it says, Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be cast out. The Lord will come and set everything right. This will not continue. Judgment is coming on this world. It's coming on this country. It's coming on the world. Judgment is coming. And the judgment is not a bad thing, actually, when you think about it. If the judgment brings people to Christ, then praise the Lord for that. And we know if the devil is cast out, praise the Lord. That's what needs to happen. It has to happen in order for the Lord to set everything back to the way it's supposed to be. But I know that as brothers and sisters and followers of Christ, we, we just have to 
hold on to the Lord. We have to go through this journey. And I know as in Psalm 91, it says, it will not touch you. It will not come near you. So it doesn't matter what's going on around us. God is going to protect us and be with us. Praise the Lord. In Romans 8, 31, it says, what then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Age the Lord for that. So as we walk today and we give honor and praise as we worship the Lord today, let us all remember that these words here. For we know that God is for us. So it doesn't matter who is against us. Because God will help us and protect us. It doesn't matter about these things. John 4, 16, it says, And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love, and he who abide in love abide in God, and God in him. This is what we all cling to today. We will cling to the love of God that he has for each and every one of us. We don't need to worry about what's going on in this world. And I tell you, I was watching the news yesterday and it's just sad and, and pathetic and just heartbreaking. The things that people are doing, the deception and the evil that's running around rapid in this world, the thoughts and the, the violence. And it's just, and people just think it's okay. It's the norm now. because they don't have the love of God in them. We pray for them and we pray for our country and we pray for our world. We, but we know that it's all and truly in God's hand. All we can actually do is just pray and give it to him. Amen. But Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word today. We thank you that if who is against us, we know that it doesn't matter about what's going on around us, but we know that your love is in us, that your protection is in us. We know that your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is with us. We know that we have your truth. We know that these things have well, been predicted. They're in the Bible. There will be wars and rumors of wars and that violence will break out. So we should not even be surprised of all the things that's happening around us. But the word also tells us that it will not come near your children. So help us to just stay strong. Help us to continue to put our faith in you. And we know that we will all continue to be blessed. You will continue to provide for us. And you will give us everything that we need. And we just thank you for that. We thank you for your love. Because we abide in you and you abide in us. And we thank you for the love that you have for each and every one of us. And we give you all the honor and all the praise and all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you all peace today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now God bless you all and have a wonderful day.